Hmm, Brady, Brady, Brady. I know exactly who to call. Hello? Is this Scott from Autographs 2000? Hey, this is Scott from Reindeer Studios. How are you, man? Awesome. Scott's of the world unite, right? All right. Hey, I got a Brady card to sell you. It's a uh, 95 top cyber stats. It's pretty rad. Yeah? Cool. Yeah, I'm thinking $40. It's only worth 40 cents? Okay. Um, how about $40 for the card? And I'll throw in a Brady Anderson marker doodle. Great Scott. See what I did there? All right, man, we got a deal. Hey, superstars, welcome back to the quest for my Holy Grail card. This is my series where I'm trying to sell off worthless cards for exorbitant amounts of money so that I can eventually buy my Grail card a T206 Cy Young portrait. But to make it work, I'm including some original art. Scott from Autographs 2000 is a TTM YouTuber and big time Baltimore Orioles fan and I can totally get behind getting behind an historically lousy team, but the Orioles have a good history and have had some amazing players, but uh, Scott's favorite is Brady here. I kind of dig that. When everyone else zigs and would go with maybe Ripken or Eddie Murray or even like Jim Palmer, Scott zags and he goes with Brady Anderson. Of course, everybody remembers that he was mixed up with the PEDs, but he was still a really solid player and table setter before all that nonsense. And then he goes and hits like 50 homers that one year. Does a guy like Brady Anderson, who was usually good for maybe like 15 home runs a year, suddenly hitting 50 say something about the guys who were juicing all the time, like Bonds, McGuire, and Sosa? I'm not trying to diss anybody here. I just think it's an interesting question. Without the PEDs, are those big mashers only hitting like maybe 20 to 30 home runs a year? I don't know. I usually try to avoid the hot button issues like that, my apologies. Um, I do remember Brady playing in Cleveland in 1998 for 34 games. I remember 38-year-old Brady Anderson was nowhere near the player 32-year-old Brady Anderson was. He hit 163 and then he was unceremoniously released, I think. But uh, from what I've read, Brady was always well thought of in Baltimore and one of Cal Ripken's favorite teammates. He was a three-time All-Star and I've gotten this far into the video without mentioning the sideburns. Those sideburns were so cool. I mean, mine were a lot bigger at the time, but uh, who's measuring, right? So I think it's time for that bad joke. I know some of you are dreading this and some of you weirdos can't wait. Anyway, before his baseball career, Brady decided that he wanted to go to college for sideburn grooming. He dedicated his whole life to this fine art and he got his bachelor's degree and his master's degree and finally his doctorate degree after many, many years. So in other words, he had third degree burns. Wow, I'm sorry. How about this one? Um, have you noticed that sideburns aren't really a thing anymore? It's because of all these millennial barbers. They just can't get sideburns right. They literally can't even. <laughs> okay, I'll stop now. So I can't go out to visit Scott and hand this to him in person, unfortunately. And maybe it wasn't one of my favorite players, but I still really enjoyed it. It's neat knowing that so many of you have my work and so many of you are eagerly waiting for me to find the time to do a piece for you too. Um, I am humbled and honored by all the support. It blows my mind that we're 30 episodes into this silly project and I could easily do 30 more, I think. But uh, I want you all to know that I'm working as hard as I can and I really, really appreciate all of you. There's our man, Brady Anderson, 90210, with his cool leg kick. I like cool leg kicks. Maybe he's about to hit a nice sing eye single and then steal second, get bunted over to third, and score on a wild pitch. That's the baseball I love. Home runs are dumb. There, I said it. 
a couple more blips closer. Thanks, Scott, for asking me to do this one. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'm going to go draw something else now. So we'll see you next time.